Hi, I'm Cosman, I'm 16 and I'm a volunteer for Hack Club on the engineering team. And today I'd like to introduce you to the Sprig, a cool, custom designed, portable handheld device that you can get for free if you're a teen and develop a simple JavaScript game using Sprig's beginner friendly tile based engine. First, navigate over to sprig.hackclub.com, open the editor. We'll focus on making a simple game where you have to save your lost kitty cat Muffin's McFish face and bring her back home. Along the way we'll add some rock obstacles that we'll have to push to save her. By default the editor comes pre-populated with a player icon. For the purposes of this demo we'll start with the default but add a little hat on him. Much cooler. Now to create Muffin's sprite we have to copy and paste the player definitions. And then hop in the inline editor and start designing the cat. I'm gonna spend some time here because I want to make her really cool and beautiful. Okay, now let's rename the cat sprite to cat and change its symbol to C and rename here also. Next we need to create a few more sprites, one for the background, one for the walls, one for the house and one for the rocks that will need to be pushed out of the way. Now we've got everything we need. Okay, now let's hop onto the functionality. So we have to first configure some settings um, to make every game mechanic work. For example, we need to make the player, the walls and the rocks uh, to be solid. Then we have to specify that the player is able to push rocks and of course our cat. Sorry, this should have been singular, not plural, because that's the way we define them up here. Now let's open up the map editor. You can see that all the sprites we made appear here on the left. So first let's make the area 10 tiles wide and 8 tiles tall. So we got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, great. And now let's design a level that will be challenging but possible. Okay, now that we've done that, let's figure out input handling. Generally, WASD is used as the key binding for the left directional pad on the Sprig device, and IKJL for the right one. We'll configure WASD to make the player move and bind the left button on the right directional pad using J. To make the player move, we just change the, the appropriate coordinates of the player, depending on the button pressed, and to restart the level, we just set the map to the current level, so that will restart every sprite on the screen. Now let's inform the player of the possibility of restarting by adding some text on the screen.
Now let's check for the win condition. That will be if you're able to save the cat and bring her back to the house. We'll do that by checking that the tiles with both the cat and the house have a length of 1. If that's true, let's add some text saying that the player has won. Now let's also clear the first text that appears after the player moves. Ok, now everything should work. Let's run the game and try to rescue the cat. And we'll see that we've won. Ok, now let's add the last little bit of polish to our game. You can read the music and sound section. And you can see how to create a tune. So let's create a background tune and then uh, make the cat meow when we move her. That sounds awesome. Now let's set it to play for an infinite duration during the game. Now let's also make the cat sound. Okay, well that's not really a meow, but it passes. Now let's make the cat make this sound when you move it. This is gonna be a little bit more complicated because we have to store the previous coordinates of the cat and then if that changes we'll have to play the sound. the game we'll be able to hear the background music as well as the cat mapping. Let's fix let's fix this error here. We have to close off the if statement.
Okay, now your game is complete. As a teenager, at this point I would create a pull request to GitHub with my game content and request someone at Hack Club to review it. Upon successfully playing and reviewing my game, they'll ship a brand new Spring device to me. Anywhere in the world. In the US it's gonna be for free, but anywhere else you're gonna have to pay customs. Once you get your Sprig, in order to run it, you'll have to connect it to the device and click run on device. Now the game will load and we'll be able to play. Here's the actual game running on the Sprig device. <laughs> 